Hello, thank you for watching. First tonight, a woman and a girl have told BBC Look North that they were sexually assaulted as children by a former Olympian from York. Stan Wilde competed for Great Britain at two Olympics and founded and ran a gymnastics club in York. It's emerged that the sports governing body, British Gymnastics, expelled Wilde last year, 12 years after a gymnast accused him of sexually assaulting her at his club. Stan Wilde denies the allegations and has never been charged with any offence. Here's Mark Ansell's investigation. Oh, what a good performance. That is one of the best that Stan Wilde has ever produced. Stan Wilde was British gymnastics champion for five years in the 1960s and 70s. He was given the honour of carrying the Olympic torch in York before the 2012 Games. But a woman and a girl have told BBC Look North that they were sexually assaulted by Stan Wilde at York City Gymnastics Foundation when he was their coach. He touched my behind, he would touch my chest, um, he'd put his hands in between my thighs. Um, as I would get older, he then started putting his hands inside my leotard. Nikki O'Donnell has waived her right to anonymity. She says she was sexually assaulted multiple times from the age of 9 to 14 by Stan Wilde at his gymnastics club. I personally, while I've been at the gym club, I've witnessed Stan be sexually inappropriate to this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl, myself is obviously in the middle, this girl, this girl, and the two girls on the end. Nikki reported the alleged abuse to the police and British Gymnastics in 2008, but no action was taken and he was allowed to carry on coaching. Had they have acted and done and protected the children that this, you know, looked after everybody like they're supposed to do, I shouldn't have to be meeting families and victims to offer them support. They should have put a stop to it, but they allowed it to carry on and they allowed it to carry on for a long time. It wasn't until another girl reported Stan Wilde eight years later in 2016 that British Gymnastics temporarily suspended him. The girl and her parents are played by actors to protect their identities. I was sat on a bench and he said, um, there'll be no more kisses for anyone. And I sort of went, yes, because I was happy about it. And he pushed me back onto the floor with him on top of me and his chest against my chest, and then pretended to kiss me again in front of everyone, which just made me feel really embarrassed and uncomfortable. Wilde was suspended from all activities within the gym. The family says the way the club dealt with the matter made them feel as if they were the problem. Why should we be punished for something that Stan Wilde has done to us and our family? They actually said that um, it would be our fault if Stan couldn't return because the club would have to close and that would be our fault. It's clearly trying to protect the name and the reputation. It's the victims that need support now and some things need to change at the head of this club to enable that to happen. In a statement, York City Gymnastics Foundation says, safeguarding is at the very heart of the gym. Trustees are delighted that the girl continues to participate at the gym. Equally, trustees deeply regret the hurt and upset which has been caused. Meanwhile, British Gymnastics says, we do not and will not comment on specific individual safeguarding cases. As soon as we receive a complaint, we act swiftly and definitively to investigate in all cases. Complex cases can take time to come to a conclusion. When he was carrying the torch through York, I was in town for counselling and the counselling I was receiving was for sexual abuse to help me deal with it and cope because of Stan. And it just so happens that the bus stopped where Stan was. And as a 17 year old girl on the bus at the time, I had to sit there on this standstill bus watching thousands of people gathered in the streets, clapping and cheering him as he brought the torch through York. I can look back now and realise they were clapping the torch they weren't clapping him. But at that time, I felt like the whole world was against me because everyone was clapping this Olympian, this hero, this athlete. They certainly wouldn't be clapping 
if they knew what it was really like behind closed doors. In a statement, solicitors acting on behalf of Stan Wilde say he denies the allegations and has no further comment to make. North Yorkshire Police say detectives have interviewed a 77-year-old man from York in connection with child abuse complaints from the 1970s and 2000s. Following questioning, he was released under investigation. The two women who made the complaints are receiving specialist support while police inquiries continue. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North, York.